there's a guy named David Siegel, and he is the CEO of a giant timeshare company called Westgate. Uh, he does uh, fun things like this show called The Queen of Versailles, where apparently he's trying to build the largest house in the world. Now, we've got a clip from that show for you guys that we want to show you, and then we'll tell you what he's up to lately. Let's watch. My name is David Siegel. My name is Jacqueline Siegel. I am the founder, CEO of the largest timeshare company in the world. I'm a 43-year-old mother of eight. I thought she was the most beautiful girl in the world. It took me a while to fall in love with him. We have a great relationship. There's 30 years between us, but he doesn't need Viagra. At least there is that option if he does, like, I don't know, 10 years from now. Over my dead body. They seem like such a lovely young couple. In the full bloom of love. It took me a while to get used to him, but after the first couple of million, I did. <laughs> All right, so what's he up to now? Is this uh, pleasant gentleman on his golden throne? Well, he's putting out a statement to his employees warning them, I will fire you all if you don't vote for Romney. Quote, if any new taxes are levied on me or my company as our current president plans, I will have no choice but to reduce the size of this company. In other words, all you people that I pay that are not on my golden throne, you better get in line and vote for my guy who's going to give me bigger breaks and who's going to screw you over more, shift the tax burden onto you, vote for him, otherwise there'll be consequences. What a lovely guy this guy is. <sighs> now, he's not done. On that show, he actually talked about how he got George W. Bush elected. Interesting. Here's what he said. Personally responsible for George W. Bush's 2000 presidential victory, he did similar tactics where he got his employees, he claims, to vote for Bush uh, and, uh, and made sure that he took the registrations of the Democrats that were his employees and did not turn them in. Now, wait a minute, that sounds illegal, right? Well, actually, he admits it himself. He said on the show, quote, tactics for helping Bush win may not necessarily have been legal. All right, somebody arrest the son of a bitch, <laughs> right? I mean, it's amazing. The rich in this country are, feel like they're so above the law that they can just brazenly say on national TV, ah, well, what I did might not be legal. So what? What are you going to do about it? I'm rich. I got a golden throne and I got this girl that I bought that pretends to be my wife. Yeah, I'm the queen of Versailles. She's the queen of Versailles. Whatever the hell's going on, I'm going to build the biggest house. I want the tax cuts to make build bigger and bigger houses and towers of Babel. I want everything. And if you don't give it to me, I'm going to fire you all. By the way, he's not alone. Bob Murray, CEO of uh, Murray Energy, well, he told his workers that they had to show up at a Romney rally Otherwise, they'd be fired. And they showed up. They're in a photo op. They're in a Romney ad. They didn't want to go. He said, on top of that, if you don't, uh, when you do show up, we're going to dock your uh, work's pay because you didn't work. But we wanted to work. We didn't want to go to the Romney route. Sorry. And then his, one of his top executives said, well, they didn't have to go. It was just mandatory. No, that means that they have to go. By the way, Richard Lax is a CEO of Lax Enterprises. He also urged his employees to vote for Romney and said that if they don't, there would be a boost in taxes and a decrease in their pay. That's really classy, threatening your workers when you're an incredibly rich CEO, saying, if you don't enrich me more by electing the crooked, greedy guy who's my guy, well, then you're going to have troubles with the boss. How sickening are these guys? 